Alright YouTubers, how are you diddling? This is The Disposalist and this will be my 8th beginner's guide for Battlefield 1. In this video I am going to talk about the infantry weapons of the driver classes. That's the tanker, the pilot and the cavalry guy. We're going to talk about their infantry weapons, not the weapons on their vehicles. So, this shouldn't take as long as my other videos because there aren't too many of these. Some people don't realise there's a choice at all because obviously in-game these vehicles are limited resources and get snapped up quickly. But if you just select them, there is a customise menu just like there is with your four infantry classes. So, these are the weapons that are available. Uh, you can see there's a slight bug here. The game still shows this as not uh, completed the mission to unlock the MLE 1903 extended but I have it's just showing that way uh, so I'm going to show you the C96 the PO8 the M911 and the MLE 1903 to begin with because they are simply versions of the semi-automatic pistols available to your infantry classes the M1911 you can see it's simply got a stock strapped on and an extended magazine the C96 has an uh, extended magazine stock strapped on and I believe a barrel adjustment there as well. The PO8 also seems to have a barrel adjustment. I don't think it's that long uh, in your normal infantry uh, secondary gun uh, sidearm. Stock extended magazine and the same thing for the MLE 1903. You can see that in the picture over there on the right. I can't select it because of that bug. So with those adjustments, what you get is better accuracy than the base pistols. You get higher velocity for the bullets, generally. You get a bigger magazine to varying degrees. You get less recoil. Um, you also get a slower deploy and reload time. Uh, and you get slightly reduced hip fire characteristics for these versions compared to their pistol equivalents. Uh, the one little exception there, as I noted, the ML1911 Extended doesn't have a barrel, so that doesn't actually get the improved accuracy that you might see with the others. So I'm going to talk about those four and compare them to each other now, much as I did do with the common pistols in the previous video. As I said, the M1911 doesn't have an extended barrel, an improved barrel, so the accuracy is not as good as the others, but uh, and it has a low velocity round 250 meters per second compared to the others but it has good damage 35 maximum and 15 uh, after the drop off that drop off is quite early though again it's a standard pistol as far as um, drop off and accuracy is concerned it has a reasonable rate of fire pretty average 300 rounds per minute um, and the magazine is increased but you, as you'll see as I go through these 15 is not actually particularly impressive compared with the others in this class. So next up I'm going to talk about the MLE 1903. Due to that bug I can't select it and show you but you can see up in the top right there similar to the M1911 it has no extended barrel so the accuracy is not great compared with the others. The damage is 30 maximum and 13 and a half minimum which seems low but because of the rate of fire being 360 it's still outputting a reasonable amount of damage. Unfortunately it has a relatively small um, clip there, 11 bullets, so you're going to get through those really quite quickly. But it has the lowest recoil of all of these weapons. So you can see I'm talking about these in a different order than they appear and that's so I can present them in a sort of starting with the highest damage and reducing and increasing in accuracy so that they're kind of ordered in that way. The m 1911s highest damage, the M1903 next due to its rate of fire. Next up the P08 and this has pretty good accuracy when aiming down the sights when standing still uh, and it's got good velocity of 370 meters per second, good for a pistol anyway. The damage is 30 maximum, 15 minimum with a 3 300 rate of fire but it's got a great magazine the PO8 it has a 33 bullet magazine so you can just keep firing and firing and the last of these four uh, more standard adjusted pistols is the C96 carbine the C96 I believe was a special weapon for the medic 
class and it follows that in this one it has good accuracy it's got the best accuracy of these four when standing still again not so good if you're moving standing still aiming down the sights very good accuracy it's got the best velocity at 460 meters per second uh, at lowest damage though at 28 maximum that's still four bullets to kill but 28 maximum and 15 minimum the rate of fire is average at 300 rounds per minute average for these anyway um it's got a good magazine size of 20 and the second best recoil though so this one you're definitely looking at the best accuracy and the m11 you have the best damage and then the other two sit in between so i'm going to talk about the next three weapons uh on their own really they compare much more easily to weapons in the other infantry classes they don't ha they're not very similar to the other weapons within these vehicle classes the from a stop auto you'd think might be similar it sounds like a from a stop that's simply a variant of it um, but it's really very different to these other that have had a stock added onto a pistol the from a stop auto is more comparable, believe it or not, to the Automatico Trench submachine gun. It has the same maximum damage, 23, the same minimum damage of 12, the same rate of fire of 900 rounds per minute, which is incredible. It, thankfully, it has a slightly reduced magazine size. It's got 16 bullets in the magazine there instead of 25 that the Automatico has. Otherwise, the damage outlay would just be incredible. It's already very impressive. The velocity is similar, 350 meters per second. The Automatico Trench is 300 and 80. So you've got a very impressive weapon there, but it has the worst recoil, very much like a submachine gun, including its first shot um, multiplier. So you're going to have to think of it like a submachine gun when you're holding that finger down. But it has quick recoil recovery, again, much like submachine guns. So in between bursts, so you can re-aim. Um, but it has better hip fire than the other weapons in this class so the other weapons in this class had kind of a reduced hip fire characteristic from their pistol equivalents from a stop auto is very much uh hip fires like a normal pistol or crossed with a submachine gun as i say it's a bit of an odd bod huge outlay huge rate of fire it's huge outlay of damage so talking of massive damage, I'm going to mention the Sword Off shotgun next. It doesn't compare directly very well even to the Assault shotguns, but obviously it is shotgun-like in nature. It fires two shells uh, in quick succession um, of multiple pellets. There's a lot of pellets compared to normal shotguns. There's 20, um, and they have high damage, 8.4 maximum, 4.2 minimum, and that's giving you uh, a maximum damage of 168 if all those pellets hit so you're really close up because the dispersion rate it being a sawn off shotgun the dispersion of those pellets is really quite rapid they fly out in all directions so you hit someone close up with this thing you're doing up to 168 damage but you quite quickly get a drop off on that damage uh, as your targets get further away as i say it's got a good rate of fire but it only has those two uh, shells before you have to reload it um, and it has pretty bad recoil characteristics it really does buck up in your hands when you fire so yeah as i say we're talking massive close-up damage pretty much only um, it's got good hip fire characteristics also so lastly i'm going to talk about the piper m1893 no idea if that pronunciation is correct and what we're looking at here is a bit of an odd bird uh, it looks a bit like a very short rifle you can see the firing mechanism the chambering mechanism there is is very pistol like and in, indeed it is a revolving set of chambers with nine bullets in you'd think to fit nine bullets in those would be quite low damage quite small but the damage per shot uh, is 40 maximum uh, and 21 minimum and you can see it starts tailoring off to that minimum the drop off damage here is is late compared to the others so this is a much more ranged weapon than your other uh, variants in this class uh, the range uh, characteristics are improved because of the velocity being good as well 420 meters per second and its accuracy when standing still is the best of all of these it's got a low rate of fire um, 225 rounds per minute which is similar to revolvers as you might well imagine um, but it also has low recoil so just a brief summary, we've got an M1911 with a stock and extended magazine. We've got an MLE1903 with a stock and slightly extended magazine. 
higher damage uh, but not as impressive accuracy wise as the P08 which has the extended magazine the stock and an improved barrel and the C96 of those adjusted pistols has the best accuracy but lowest damage the highest accuracy of all these weapons though is the Piper 1893 which is almost like a rifle though it has those revolver like characteristics the from a stop is almost like an automatico an amazing amount of damage uh, in a short amount of time a bit like a cross between a submachine gun and a pistol there the sawn off shotgun does massive short range damage and those are your options for the tanker and pilot and ping we're on a horse and that's because the last thing to talk to you about in this video is the russian 1895 cavalry variant this is directly comparable to the russian 1895 trench variant that the scout uses uh, its muzzle velocity is slightly higher, 610 against 580. It's got a slightly better recoil decrease. It recovers from recoil slightly faster. But its hip firing characteristics are not as good as you might imagine as that trench variant. But the important thing, it being based on a scout rifle, is that it has zero random deviation, zero spread. So it is very accurate. And if I aim at this building and I can fire five shots in quick succession... And you can see they've gone all five to exactly the same spot. Now the fire rate and the reload whilst on horseback is not as impressive as on foot. Uh, you also can't aim down the sights and on foot you can. But if I show you again, you can see I can fire them really in quite quick succession. Um, slightly unlike on horseback, probably because I'm firing them even faster. There's a very slight increase in spread due to that rate of fire. Um, but pretty much every shot's gone to almost the same target when I fire them as fast as this rifle can. And in fact, I can't improve that accuracy by taking my time and waiting for the gun to settle. Because what happens then is between firing and waiting... You can just see it, if I sit here looking, there's a sway as your soldier breathes. And you're actually better off just firing in quick succession because that appears to ignore the sway that should otherwise have been happening during that firing period. So that is the Russian 1895 Cavalry Rifle. So, thanks for watching, YouTubers. Leave me a thumbs up if you like the video, a thumbs down if you feel the must, and please do leave comments. I always love to hear your opinions and your ideas for other videos. I'm going to ride off into the sunset now, except there isn't one. Cheers, guys.